Hey everyone, March Gate here bringing you a brand new episode of Monday Music Recap. We recap the events from last week. Let's get started. Pokemon revealed last week that they will be releasing new anime shorts on YouTube called Pokemon Generations. It actually looks pretty interesting. There's the 3 to 4 minute shorts that seem to be taking the Pokemon Origins and Pokemon Chronicles route, if anybody even remembers Pokemon Chronicles, and going for these more mature tones along with these new styles and stories that we've never really seen before which I absolutely love. Anyways, a couple of the episodes have already been released and I'll link them down below if you're interested in checking them out. There was also quite a number of new game re trailers released last week. We had a new trailer for World of Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, a new story trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which actually looks pretty awesome, and Batman the Telltale series released a new trailer for their second episode. Anyways, if you're interested in checking out any of these, and there's a couple more, I'll link them all down below for you. While She Sleeps has announced that they will be self-releasing their next album, they currently have a Pledge Music page set up where you can go and pre-order the album, and all the money they make from the pre-orders is actually going towards making of the album and its promotions. It's always a risky endeavor going independent without the stability of a label, but the outcome can be even greater reward. So I do hope the very best for the band, and if you guys are interested in checking out the page, the link will be down below for you. Demon Hunter has announced that they will be releasing their Ace Studio album Outlive sometime around spring of next year. If you guys are interested in the artwork and the pre-orders, those can be found below. And Fuel by Raymond has announced that they have signed quite a popular Japanese rock band known as One OK Rock. They have also announced that they will be releasing their English language album sometime in early 2017. Now I really hope that the English language part was a choice on the band and not some bullshit requirement made by the label when they agreed to sign the band. Fuel does have a decent track record with its artists but you never know. And nothing good ever comes from strifling creativity and having a band that is able to blend English lyrics and their native tongue as well as this band does in this genre is very intriguing and I would hate to see that wasted because corporate is more concerned about their wallets and paychecks. Anyways, if you guys are interested in more information, I'll leave the link below for you. Corn and Limbiscuit has announced that they will be heading on a new UK headliner tour. Dates released, they will be down below if you're interested. And for new music of the week, we have Asking Alexandria Duality, that's their Slipknot cover, 21 Pilots Cancer, My Chemical Romance cover, Attila Public Apology, Upon a Burning Body Till the Break of Dawn, Isley Defeatist, Two Tongues, Azalea, Joyce Manor, at least you heard of me, and yes, I did just rage quit there. Uh, Thomas Guile, Strangers in the Paranoid Mind, and May Sugar, Nostrum. And for new music videos, we have August Burns Red, Majoring in the Minors, that's a live video. Dance Gavin Dance, Betrayed by the Game. Norma Jean, Everyone Talking Over Everyone Else. Giraffe Tongue Orchestra, Blood Moon. Artwork, Black and White. Movements, 19, that is also a live video. Uh, High on Fire, The Black Plot, and Forever Still. Miss Madness. Be sure to check out all of those down below if you're interested, and thank you for joining me for another episode. If there was a band in here that you guys are just interested in checking out, just discovering, go ahead and check them out. Discovering some new music is always a beautiful thing. I will see you all next episode. Thank you. Mars out.